where the video scope comes in is it, it provides you with uh, tangible evidence and ability to determine if there is anything inside this uh, suspected hidden compartment. So what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and uh, deploy the scope. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, remove it from the uh, case. It's uh, easily removed. This scope is designed for close quarter observation. Uh, once we insert it into the uh, uh, suspected compartment area, should be able to uh, have a better look and have more uh, clar clarity. Uh, this area right here is where we're going to try to insert it into the actual compartment. As you see, as I'm uh, inserting this, we see some aftermarket work here. Uh, obviously, uh, this is the suspicious area. This looks like some kind of uh, metal that's been cut. And there's some glue present. So therefore, this is the anomaly. So we will actually try to feed the fiberscope further into the location. And from what it appears, it does have some contraband inside, what it appears some kilos size or some rectangular shaped packages that are uh, look like wrapped in some kind of white con uh, wrapping and looks like there's a few uh, black ones in there as well that are right next to the white ones and uh, looks like it's even being uh, utilizing uh, food saver type heat seal packaging to uh, play with. So what we'll do is without uh, creating much uh, force behind the scope, we'll try to try to see if we can actually insert it further. However, because the uh, because of the angle, we're unable to do so. But here, even uh, if I was to try to contact my supervisor and say, hey, I see some anomalies, I think there's a hidden compartment in this vehicle, I can easily use the video scope and deploy and see that there is some aftermarket work, some glue. For example, in this particular aspect, if I want to take a picture of this area where it's cut, I can simply stop here, uh, basically leave the scope at whichever location that I want to video or take a picture. For example, we'll leave it here where you can see some uh, contraband and I can simply take a picture by pressing this button. It's frozen. And I just took a still shot, which is stored on a memory card and it can be downloaded for evidentiary purposes. The same goes with um, determining the video. As you see, the recording has started. Um, if I manipulate the video or the scope, uh, the video scope, I can actually take a recording of what is being seen by the officer at roadside, which not only um, strengthens the case, but gives the jury something to look at as to what you had observed as an officer at roadside.